be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own drum beats using the drummer in Logic Pro 10. So if you're brand new, uh, basically instead of selecting software, instrument track, audio, whatever, you're going to go to drummer and they have different genres here. We're going to go to hip hop and it will push create. Now, what's going to happen is, as you can see, automatically a track just go ahead and this gets placed right here this is your drummer track if i push play you're going to hear a drum loop let's check it out now you can pick different beat presets uh so we got this double vision but let's just say we could go with this one right here if you want, you can come over here and mess with the basic settings and it can add less, uh, a less amount of instruments or more instruments. So like for instance, with these cymbals and hi-hats, I can take this up right here. And as you can see, the pattern ended up getting a whole lot more uh, detailed. You can also take certain things away, make it like a more simple pr uh, pattern. And same thing down here. If you want to add a little bit of a swing, just come over here, push that up some. And then the best thing um, what you could do is convert this to MIDI region. And now you have actually the MIDI patterns right here. And then you can actually come over here and rearrange certain things if you need to. So check it out. Say so if I want to, you know, add another kick here, everything is coordinated and named. You can take certain things out if you don't want it in there. You know what I'm saying? It just basically is endless. Let's say if I don't want, say, this ride sound, we can take that up out of there. Control M. So that's pretty cool. You also come over here and mess with the stacks. Um, you know, turn stuff up or down based on the, you know, how you like it. and pretty much come in here and adjust anything once it's turned into a MIDI file. Uh, let's just look at another pattern here because this could do other um, genres as well. You don't have to just do hip hop. We can do like an R&B one. Now let's go ahead and take this and we're going to convert it to a MIDI region. And you can, then you can even break this down. Uh, we can do like double command D. And you can like, if you wanted to come over here and chop this up, you know what I'm saying? So like, not chop it up, but pretty much have everything on its own channel.
Anyway, y'all kind of taking a little bit of time on this, but um, you just pretty much can get the gist of this, man. Um, it's a pretty dope tool. You come in here, got this. All right, y'all. So we're gonna take a look at one more genre. Um, let's take this uh, here instead of doing R and B or hip hop. Let's do more of like an alternative or rock um, genre. Let's look at rock. You don't want to leave out, you know, our rock guys. You know what I'm saying? So we'll come over here. Same process, man. Um, you can pick between any of these presets. This is really good, like especially to say if you're doing, um, you know, cues for TV and film, or you know, this other uses outside of just only making hip hop beats. So say if you get a, you know, an artist that uh, wants a more alternative feel, you know, you can use the drummer feature to get a good beat started without having trying to come up with something on your own, and then just come in here and move things around. You know what I mean? Here we go. Come over here, add a little spice to this. But pretty much y'all get the point here. So like if you're brand new to, you know, using Logic Pro 10, it's a great way to get started with, with your own drum patterns. You can come in here, um, adjust the, uh, you know, the drummer feature and then convert it to MIDI and then, you know, rearrange certain things, zoom in, move MIDI notes around, all that type of stuff. Now, listen, y'all, if you want some more tips and videos like these, you got to go ahead and smash that like button. It's going to definitely help out the channel. Let me know that what I'm posting is good content. Also, make sure that you head over to our website, beatmakingbasics.com. On this website, you can get access to royalty free um, drum kits and loop kits. OK. You can also get access to full video courses. These are premium level courses, comes with a curriculum. Um, a lot of these courses are hours and hours worth of content. And um, trust me, man, it's gonna be a good resource for you to improve your uh, skills as a music producer. Um, but if you don't do anything else, make sure you subscribe if you're brand new and also make sure you keep on leaving comments and suggestions and liking the videos, man, you know, so it can help make this channel the best it could possibly be for you all. But anyway, I appreciate y'all and I will see you in the next video. We're out.